one day and a half later we finally made it we got a uh, flight cancelled we need we had to buy new tickets we had we board on a plane we had to onboard get another plane eight hour delay and finally we made it three hours to camp and tomorrow we'll be hunting in africa <music> So we have spotted another couple of groups of mountain ridbacks all the way on those cliffs. So we are gonna walk around and, and try to get above them and see if we get into shooting range because from here it's, it's gonna be tough. Pedro. Good job. Thanks a lot, eh? I appreciate it. Pretty steep for Africa. What a beautiful animal, eh? Well done, Pedro. Very Thank nice. you. Yeah, yeah. Here we have beautiful mountain ridback. Yeah. yeah, these these are the mountains, Winterbeck mountains. And as you can see, it's a completely. I mean, some people may think that this animal is not very attractive, but what it makes these animals special and attractive to me is the place where they live in. That it's unreal. This type of country. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like Africa.
So we have changed a little bit the area. We're going a little bit higher to Fall Reebok area. And we have spotted the, the first one. Very, very far away, so it's hard to tell if they are males or females, but good sign. What a beautiful stock. Eh? Thanks a lot. Eh? They didn't see us this time. They never knew what happened. Eh? No. We got to 150 meters, scroll perfect. Yeah. Great shot. So he, he, he never knew what happened. Sun is coming down. And we got this beautiful Fall Reebok. It's one of the uh, true mountain animal. Well done, Pedro. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Beautiful country this animal lives in. It's hard to, to stalk them because it's wide open. And by the few that we have seen, they are pretty spooky. But we were able to do a perfect stalk, a stalk to 260 meters and, and got this beautiful animal. Voila! Thank you.
beautiful morning. We are checking, looking for Fall Reebok today with Joaquin. He's the responsible for us to come here to South Africa. And looks like a perfect day. No, no wind at all. Beautiful conditions. So hopefully we get to see something, a big one. I see the... We have located a pretty nice ramp with a few females there. It's pretty far, pretty open, but we're gonna walk on the side with the wood wind and hope to shorten the distance enough for a, for a shot. Okay, let's move. Ooh, that one looks very nice. Just, they are too far, so we're gonna pack, go around the mountain and try to get them a little bit from above because there's no way we can get closer. Let's pack up the slope. So this country is all farming. They have cows, sheep, goats, you know. So there is all these fences. But animals can jump or get underneath easily. <laughs> we just got a beautiful Fall Reebok, pretty long shot, but it was impossible to get closer. They were already watching us, but good equipment and we made a, a great shot, so super happy. Muchas gracias Joaquín, beautiful day in these mountains and, and we got a magnificent Val Very nice. That's basically as big as, as they get, no? Yeah. Definitely a hand that everyone should, should check out in South Africa. It's completely different than what people are used to come hunt here. Mountain country, really open terrain and beautiful spot and stock opportunities.
okay, this trip comes to an end. Last sunset here in Africa. We came for a quick trip, only four days, but we had a blast. We hunted the mountains, we hunted with a rifle, we hunted with a bow. Awesome time with friends and can't wait to, to come back for more. Thank uh, Willem de Beer, Joaquin Barillo, Charles, the Garot <laughs> brothers, Roberto, all of you guys for making these trips so special. So looking forward to, to get another one together pretty soon.